Hello and welcome back to VegPlay's Galaxy on Fire 2 HD or Full HD, whatever in HD. Last episode we did the uh, beginning portion of the game, the introduction, the tutorial, what have you, and now I did some mining off of off hangar. I um, raised 13 tons of gold, 46 tons of orchil. Orichalzine and uh, 48 tons of Parisium and I'm out uh, 13,632 that should be enough for probably a new ship or new equipment let's hope so because if I have to mine any more uh, I'm gonna have to mine some more so what we're gonna do is uh, clear a map and um, travel to this station so let's do it the easy way. Uh, when I started mining, it said because I was in space, all I had to do was point in the direction that I wanted to uh, fast travel or warp to and um, hit F and I'm like, okay, cool. So uh, we're just gonna do it this way. That's probably because um Oh, so you still have to do it. Okay, cool. Neato. Alright, now we're in Kernstall. That was quick. Oh, look! More mines, or more asteroids. This is interesting. Let's go ahead and dock at the station. I don't know, I kind of like this targeting system. It's like, alright, I'm going to scan you, and then, uh... You want me to dock with it? Yes, dock with it. Why not? We'll do some more mining here after this episode. Because um, there was a map indicator saying... Keith T. Maxwell? I'm Captain Bernard, oh, commander hey. of Kernstall. It's a pleasure to meet you. Gunan told me what happened. You must be pretty confused right now. You're not kidding. Jumping through time and space, that's something. Tell me about this Mido Confederation. I've never heard of it. Well... You have missed a lot in the past 35 years. Okay. The Mido system is located in a sector of the galaxy that has only recently been discovered. We retreated here at the beginning of the Nivellian Civil War, when the Mido Confederation of Planets was founded. We tried to avoid contact with other systems as much as possible. So Mido oh, is a confederation fantastic. of Terran and Nivellian rebels and outlaws founded during the Nivellian Civil War. You could say that. Hmm. We declared our independence, which the Terrans accepted, but the Nivellians still claim Mido as their territory. That's why there are still conflicts in the outer reaches of the system. I see. Gunant told me you might be able to help me get back to Terran territory. I could arrange that, but in return, I'd like to ask you for a favor. More which is, mining. it could be risky. We lost contact with Irdal Gadai, one of our space stations. They could just be having problems with their communication system, but we need someone to fly out there and check. So it could also be the Novellians, pirates, or something else that's behind it, right? That's why we need someone who's willing to take the risk. An experienced fighter pilot like you. Just don't go getting into any pointless fights. I'm on my way. Okay, so the next mission is a recon mission. That's fantastic. And lo and behold, the station is the fucking same. But what I like about it thus far is that, like, in episode one, there was a bluish, a, a teal, or very sky blue ship here. And then at times, you can see different ships dock and parked uh, in these spaces, which is pretty cool. So let's go to hangar. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, at least we found some secondary weapons. Okay. Okay. This is... I'm glad I made some money. Because... Wow. This is... This is interesting. Medical supplies. Drinking water. Wow. Did you... Digital watch. Are you kidding me? That's a lot of stuff. Well, unfortunately, this place doesn't have any um, ships, so. Um. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna go over with rockets. 
Wait. I have to have a certain number of them? Okay. Uh, I'll take five for now. Wow. I mean, these are all in red, so something tells me it's not compatible with my ship, is it? Hmm. Five rockets. Okay. So, I got a, uh, Telta quick scan. What is it? Yeah, same, same freaking thing. Target shield, riot shield. E2, excellent. Yeah. So, so far, I have... Okay, so what's in red is, uh, primary weapons and their guns and such. Uh, what does this do? Five damage, loading speed, 400 milliseconds, tech level two. I think I'm gonna swap out an upgrade and see what happens. Okay, so I've upgraded. Awesome. I have upgraded. I can sell you. Holy shit. Um, I'm less than 10,000. I'm going to be needing to do a lot more mining, so that's what that's what it's starting to look like. Uh, mining is going to take up most of your time playing this game. Just for this crazy amount of stuff. I need to find some titanium and more orichalzine because those are the higher priced um, ores. This is interesting. Interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. Tech level 1 armor. Armor 40. Okay. I'm going to go to the shop real quick. Uh... I mean, it's E4. It's armor tech level 3. It does 80. Yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this to uh, up the ante on my ability to defend myself. Upgrades are a good thing. This is pretty neat. Pretty neat so far, so I've upgraded my weapons and my defense, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, get on with this mission, because um, that's all I can do with this ship. Pretty neat, not gonna lie, so let's go ahead and depart the station for this mission. Five rockets on me. All right, cool. Right, time. Speed. Okay. Action freeze. Um. Where do I? Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Maybe. It doesn't give me a really good um, indicator of where to go that and I probably forgot. I'm just going to go ahead and scan this. Or I think I can scan. I don't know. I'm just going to give it a flyby. I miss TIE Fighter in their fl flyby inspections. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go back and dock because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Please don't do a myth. There you go. Thank you. See? There's other ships there. That's pretty cool. Uh, missions. 
Uh, the Midorians lost contact with Yordil Gadal, one of their space stations. I need someone to fly out there. Norris Bernard promised to help me afterwards. Show on map. Okay, so I gotta go here. Alright, I'm being stupid. Key. Okay. Oh, I. Re crap. Really? I gotta launch out and actually do it manually? Oh, shit. Guess it's not in my natural nav. nav uh, computer. There we go. Uh, there we go. Scan. And go. That's not so bad of a mode of transportation. That's pretty cool. And Assuming I'm not completely lost, I should be at the right place. No sign of combat, and the station appears to be intact. I guess I'll dock and take a look around. That doesn't sound like a good idea. That doesn't sound like a good idea. I'm gonna get ambushed the moment I leave my cockpit. Nobody here. Not even Novellians. Wait, I don't believe it. Mucked bucked. What the hell are what, you doing in this really? godforsaken place? His name is Mix Picked. Uh, Maxwell, oh, is that uh, you? Long time no see. You're just in time for our little party. I managed to ship in a load of premium neuroalgae from Apache. The crew here can't get enough of it. <laughs> that sounds like drugs. Sounds interesting. Does this stuff have any unpleasant side effects? Not really. Some people have reported a bit of tentacle growth, but that's more of a benefit than a side effect. You oh, mean tentacles bias. on their face? Yeah. How did you know? Just a wild guess. But Key, oh you've got God. to tell me why you still look so young. I know a lot of people who'd be interested in buying whatever it is you're using. You don't <laughs> want to know. Tentacle growth is nothing compared to the side effects I'm having. Okay, Mucketbucked, I'll leave you with your new friends. See you around. Take care. And by the way, you can find me on Camo in the Shima system if you ever need something extra special. Brilliant. Out of all the rogues I could have run into, it had to be Muktabukt, the most notorious Mucked dealer in the Mucked. galaxy. Neuroalgae. Hardly surprising no one's able to operate the intercom. Oh my god. Okay, so the story's been... The, the game has been pretty mad to start off. Voice acting is just wow. Now this character's name is Muktbuk. I think I may need alcohol. But then again, I'm sure it's gonna impair with my flying. Ah, <sighs> what the fuck? Okay, so what's over here in uh, this hangar? The same thing for the most part. Noble gas. Same thing as uh, the other station. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have to do some more mining. I'm gonna probably have to do some more mining. Okay, so what do we do now? I met McBook, uh, the his dealer. He, he's responsible for the incident on Yerdol Gidal. Now I've got to get back to Nora so he can help me return to Terran territory as promised. Really? That's all I gotta do? Awesome. Well, I might as well start mining and um, upgrading when I can off camera so I can um, upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and depart station, go back to where I need to go, save there, and just mine. Mine away. Mine the hell away. It's an okay game so far. I was expecting something different, at least for, you know, HUD reasons. Because the HUD display, or the, it's just, really the cursor moves that fluid, uh, fluid, like, across my screen. It's like, look at this. I can't get a proper lock. This is just fucking annoying. Now, if you hit T, it, it, it goes on your 6. But, um, it, it just rotates the camera 180. 
I was thinking, oh, I could get in the cockpit. That's cool. Nope. So piloting with a with a joystick in this game is uh, rather. Um, oh shit. That was a near fall. No. Break off. Fucking. Okay, so you see what just happened? I uh, apparently walked onto a uh, asteroid, thinking it was the station, but no. That's why you hit Q, then do. Always hit Q, people. Always hit Q. Don't do it manually. Maxwell, good to see you again. What did you find out? Looks like the crew of Erdl Gadal is completely wasted. Man, those fighters Thanks look like um, the dealer. Unbelievable. Jedi Starfighters. Is it serious? I'm sure they'll crawl their way back to normality oh, eventually. But I suggest you take the crew to nice. a detox center after they're back on their feet. Or maybe a fish tank. Now, can you help me get back to Terran territory? Yes, of course. A Terran military convoy is heading for Cairnstall. That would be your best option. Sounds good. I'll contact you as soon as the convoy reaches the system. In the meantime, feel free to make use of the space lounge. You can probably pick up some work there. A good way to pass the time and earn a few extra credits. And I think I'll go have a chat with our friend Mukt Bukt. Okay, so new thing unlocked. Number two is Space Lounge. Space Lounge is now accessible. You can obtain side missions and new contacts by visiting the, the lounge. Norris will contact you again after you have completed some missions. Visit different uh, stations to get different kinds of missions. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's go to missions real quick. No, 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 not missions. Uh, status. Um, I didn't realize this until now that these bars are in between uh, these four different factions, specifically. Uh, and this bar is the uh, alignment bar, so I could be either complete neutral or side with the Terrans or side with the Vosk, and vice versa with uh, the Novellian and the Midorian. I'm probably going to go Terran and Midorian because one, I'm biased because I'm human and because a Midorian saved me. Oh wait, no, it was it Midorian or was it Nivellian? I forgot. Oh, so yeah, I got this a while ago. I don't know how to get any more. Uh, this I got when I first loaded the game and Survivor was when I was uh, playing the game off camera that I got returned with less than 30% damage, which was interesting. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I think I should go ahead and save and then quit because I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely need to go to the bathroom. So here, here's another short episode. I hope you enjoyed it. See you left if you can. Subscribe if I let you. Thanks for watching. Later.